Another motion song that will show you real quickly the motions. All you have to do is go like this. Jesus, you're my superhero. You swooped down and rescued me. You took this big old zero, turned my life around, put my feet on solid ground. I'm praising you forever. Now the hard part of that song is turning real fast. Turn my life around, put my feet on solid ground. The turning is easy, but getting all those words in is tough. So you can follow Ruby and we'll give it a try. I was so lost. Corn dogs, funnel cakes, deep fried Oreos, cotton candy, caramel apples, popcorn, so many choices of food, and the smell! It makes your mouth water and your tummy grumble. Riding the rides and watching the shows and walking around sure make you hungry when you are at the amusement park. There is so much food to choose from. Some of Jesus' friends had lots of food. In fact, they had more of everything than they needed. And some of Jesus' friends didn't have enough. They were hungry and cold and had very little. Today's story is about a man, one of Jesus' friends, who shared what he had. Can you guess what he shared? It wasn't a toy. After Jesus went back to heaven, his friends stayed together. They loved each other. One of the ways Jesus' friends showed their love was by sharing everything they had. Nobody had to ask them to share. They liked to share. And some people had lots of food and clothing, but they didn't keep it all to themselves. They found other friends of Jesus who did not have enough food, and they shared their food. They found friends of Jesus who needed clothes, and they shared their clothes. And if one family had more food than they needed, they didn't throw it away. They gave it to another family who did not have enough food. One of Jesus' friends helped other people so much that his friends gave him a nickname. Their new name for him was Barnabas. Barnabas meant something like Mr. Glad Helper. He was a cheerful man. He was always helping people and he loved to cheer them up. The Bible says that Barnabas owned a big piece of land and he could have kept his field for himself, but Barnabas wanted to share. So he sold his field and got the money for it. Now, Barnabas could have spent that money on something he wanted for himself, but Barnabas wanted to share. So he gave the money to the leaders of God's family, and he said, Here, take this money. I want to share it with the people who need it. Barnabas had learned about Jesus. He was glad to help the other people, as Jesus had said to do. Barnabas didn't keep his field. He wanted to share. He didn't keep his money for himself. He wanted to share. 
He showed he loved Jesus by sharing what he had with other people who needed it. And he had lots of fun sharing. No one made Barnabas share with other people. Barnabas wanted to share. And when we are glad to share with others, it means that we are generous. In the Bible, it tells us, share with others and give to the poor. Some people are poor. They don't have enough money to buy food or clothes. Being generous means helping poor people with the food or clothes they need. Being generous can also mean letting others have a turn to use our things like bikes or balls or toys. Today's memory verse is, I command you to be open-handed toward your brothers and toward the poor and needy in your land. Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 11. I'll say it first and you repeat after me. I command you to be open-handed toward your brothers and towards the poor and needy in your land. Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 11. Let's pray. Dear God, you help us have so many good things. Thank you. Please help us to be generous and share with others. In Jesus' name, amen.